two quarters. Can you dry your cool off? Yes! Oh, can I have one? Get it. There you go. Look. You look like those kids in Africa. <laughs> hey, what's up you guys? I'm Austin Crocker and you are watching Deer Meat for Dinner. And as many of you guys know, Rob is in need of our prayers right now. Um, Saturday he was admitted into the hospital, but today we're hoping that he comes home. But Actually, it's fishy for dinner. It's fish meat for dinner today because today we're going fishing. The girls were FaceTiming Rob this morning and he said, why don't you girls go fishing? And try to catch me something for dinner because this afternoon we think we're, he's coming home, but if not, he's coming home tomorrow for sure. And I just wanted to stop and say that I very much so, all of us very much so, appreciate all the love and support in the prayers. Um, I know I speak for both Robert and Sarah when I say that. The amount of support has been overwhelming and I just can't say enough. But. Today we're gonna to go fishing with the girls. We're gonna try and catch something for dinner. Might be tilapia, might be bass, might be cichlids. My bat was a bark on my... Might be, what do you wanna to catch today, Emma? Marlin. Marlin? Well, I'll tell you what, if you catch a blue marlin in Jonathan Dickinson State Park, I'll give you a million dollars. Deal? <laughs> I don't think we're gonna find any blue marlin today. So all we're doing right now is we're getting all of our gear situated. We're probably not gonna carry all of these rods, but we are gonna carry a couple of them. We're gonna go ahead and tie a leader on them. Aria just got this rod for her birthday and it's eight pound test up here, which I'm scared is gonna break off on a bigger fish, but it doesn't mean she can't catch a big fish. So we put 20 pound leader on here, followed by a bobber. And we're gonna put that bobber about right here, like that. See how that goes in there? Uh -huh. And then we have night crawlers and shiners. What do you think you're gonna catch? A marlin. What's up with her and the marlin? We're gonna catch something. I'm glad I brought my tennis shoes. I feel like I'm in the Sahara Desert. I know. He's already panting. <laughs> Hi, I'm Arya, and I'm trying to film a gopher turtle. Hello, Cardo. Emma, hold hold the snacks. Quick, quick. Hi, gopher turtle. Oh, yeah, they hey, can. Look. look at his claw. That was so cool. You gonna catch fish? Yeah, it's because it's flowing. Yeah? Yeah. Do you see? In the yeah. middle waterfall, you see half of it. Is it flowing? Yes. It's flowing. Is that cool? So we just found a waterfall right here, what we call a spillway down here in South Florida. And I already saw a nice snook. So we snuck down here, got a shiner. Can you cast that? Uh -huh. I want you to cast it right out there into the deep. Where it's deep. Go, go ahead and cast it right out there. Good job. Good job. Oh, something's chasing it. Something's chasing it. Oh, you got to eat. Real, 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 real fast. You Ooh, got him. What's what, that? what did you get? Bring it in, bring it in. Don't let him get you in the rocks. Get him. What you, kind is that? You caught a snook. That's a regular Here, snook. hold your rod. Hold your rod, bring it to me. That's a regular snook. It's a snook. You caught a snook, are you? I like flying. Throw him in right there. Throw him in. Throw him in. That hurt my finger so bad. Hurt your finger? <laughs> Was that fun? No, when I put it sideways, it I never got to felt the tug, but it looks so weird. Looks weird. weird. You wanna do that again? Yeah. Where's that 
You got him? Fight him out. That is clap. Get him, Aria. Miami? No, Mayan. Mayan stickled. Here, bring it in. Look at that thing. Hold that up. Have you ever caught one of those before? Uh, no. You want to eat them for dinner? Uh huh. They're actually really good. Oh. Let's put them in the. Let's put them in with all the other fish. Wait, what? You have more fish? I'm gonna put them in the box with the other fish. Will you eat it? Huh? Will you eat it? Nah, he's okay. Well, we've caught one snook and one cichlid. I've eaten cichlids before, although it's been a long time, and they're really good to eat. So we're putting them into the little cooler. Now we're gonna see if Emma can catch one. Oh yeah, night crawler time. Now that I know that there's Mayan cichlids there, this right here is one of their favorite things. The old fashioned night crawler. Emma, good job, good job. Is that your first one? Yeah. You want it? Touching them? Got me wet. <laughs> so it's really shallow right here. You can see the bottom and everything. So most of the fish that were here have figured out that we're trying to get them. And I believe most of them have moved over right there. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's another spillway dropping down. I should, I should. May you give me a fishing pole? You want a fishing pole? Yeah. What'd I you see? I saw a fish just where I'm good at. Cat. Yeah, I'll get you a pool. So, Ari and I are sneaking downstream right now. There's no other way to get over here to this wall. Emma's taking a lunch break up there with Sebastian. I'm starving. You're starving? Uh-huh. I brought you some snacks. Okay. We're gonna sneak up here and try to catch a snook or a tarpon. Okay, balance yourself off me and walk out here on this wall. Careful. Good job. Good job. Good job, Arya. Got the old favorite jackhammer. Here, you ready to catch a snook? Yeah. Okay, be quiet. You ready, Arya? All right, catch him. Cast it out there. You don't have to cast it far, right in front of you. Right, right there, good. Leave it right there. Good job. Hey, watch your bobber. Hey, bring your bobber in and cast it right there in the, where the, everything's moving. Here, bring it here. Hold it right here in the water. Get that, get that leaf off of it. There you go. Cast it right there where the water's moving. Oh, whoa! Right there where the water's moving. Hey, yay! You got something big! Real, real, real! Take it easy. Aria, did you see that? Yeah. What was that? You got it. You can do it, girl. Here, walk. Whoa! Yeah. Yay! What the? I am really feeling it. Oh, did you see the size of that bass? I feel it. Oh, you lost it. That was a huge bass. Oh, man. We can try catching it again. You want to try that again? Yeah. All right, I'll get you another bait. Let's see if we can do that again. Right there. Perfect. Perfect. Now just watch your bobber. I wish I caught oh, you got one. I do. You got one. Take it easy. Take it easy. You got him. What do you got? I don't know. It feels like the again. Whoa. Whoa. What is What's it? That? That's a bass. Is it? That's a bass. Is it a bass? Whoa, whoa, take it easy, take it easy. Take it easy. Hey, back up on your drag. 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 There you go, there you go. Take it easy on him. That's a big bass, are you? What a nice bass. That's a large mouth bass. Leave him right here. Was my other one the bigger? Huh? Hold on. Hold on, we haven't caught this one yet. Oh, I got him. Aria, look at that bass. 
Don't get my shoes wet. Don't get your shoes wet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. You think you can hold that thing? No. 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 <laughs> you don't want to hold it? No. Come on. No. Okay. Tell me what you think about that. That's a big, big bass. Let him go, Arya. Let him go. I want to put it by the water. No, do it right here where I can see it, please. There he goes. What do you think about that? Good. I, okay, maybe not that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Was that awesome? Yeah. I'm telling Austin that is a bad idea, but he isn't listening. This thing had me in so many rocks, but look at that. That's a big old mine cichlid. Probably one of the biggest ones I, I've ever caught. But this mine's isn't a, bigger. what? Mine's bigger. Nope, mine's bigger, but you caught the bigger bass. Man, we've had an absolute blast just fishing this little waterway. I probably just messed it up by chasing after this fish, but you know what? We've got dinner, y'all. You better not dump them worms down my back. I will not. <laughs> There's a good chance she's going to dump them worms down my back. I will not. <laughs> well, we had a lot of fun. Did you have fun, Emma? Uh -huh. I know Arya had fun. She lost a big old bass. We got about a... Uh... I had a flip flip in the L. Did you see it flip in the air? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was super cool. We got about a mile hike back to the truck. That's why I'm carrying Emma because it's hot out. We're going to clean these fish up. We're going to eat them for lunch. Emma's not going to need lunch, though, because she's got a fruit roll up. Excuse me? <laughs> well, we were on our way back to Jupiter, and this is a good buddy of mine, Benny. He called me and said, why don't you stop by the pond catch a couple bass? So, that's what we're about to do. Catch me one, Emma. I'm trying to get you. Oh, I got you. Yeah. I'll cast it right there. Yeah, he is so big. I'll show him to you once I get him. Whoa! What Let is me see it a second. Can I see it a second? Uh -huh. It's tangled. He's tangled. Benny's going to try and get it out for you. Whoa, don't fall in. He got him out. Here you go. Here you go. Catch him, Mario. There he is, he's right there, he's right there. Whoa. That's a big one. Okay, tip up. There you go. That's a big one, Aria. Lift that thing up. What the heck? Is that big or what? <laughs> Does that make up for the one you lost earlier? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad. Yeah, but that's a nice fish, are you? What do you say, Mr. Benny? Thank you. You're very welcome. Well, that was absolutely awesome. On the way home, I just wanted to stop real quick to this private pond, let the girls see a couple big bass. Now, we're gonna head back to Jupiter because the update on Rob is that he's just been discharged from the hospital. Thank you, God. And the girls are ready to see him. You ready to see dad? So let's head that way. All right, well, we're back at the house now. Let's clean these jokers up. Now, we did fill this cooler full of ice and made a nice ice brine. That makes them nice and firm. I fully believe it makes them taste better and it makes them easier to clean. This is what they call a Mayan cichlid. And although these are invasive here in South Florida, I really don't mind having them around. They're a phenomenal fish to eat. I've eaten them before and they clean really nicely. Just come in just like any other fish, make that first incision and just take your time. Come right down the backbone, just like that and come down the tail. The bones will literally guide where the knife goes and I like to turn the fish around and cut right down just like that come right down to the belly and again all of these bones right here will guide the way the knife goes you come back around back to the tail and that whole fillet will 
come right like that. And some people cut it right off like that, but I like to go ahead and use what I got to hold on to because sometimes it's real slippery. I like to go ahead and cut the skin off right now. And that's not a lot of meat, but it's good meat, and we have three fish to clean, which is plenty for us. Okay, we want to dry these fish off, okay? So you hold them out like this. These are the fillets from all the fish that you caught today. You got one. Can you count in Spanish? Uno, dos, tres, tres cuatro, Good job. cinco, seis. Nice, so we got six little fillets. So now fold it back over top like that. I probably use way too many paper towels, but the key to any fish, fresh water or salt water, I feel like, is get them dry, get them in a paper towel before you put them in the fridge. The reason why we're putting them in the fridge is because Rob just got back and we're not gonna just rush in there and make a bunch of noise and cook fish just to cook fish. What do you say we do this tomorrow when we have more time and Rob's up and your mom's back? That's what we're gonna do. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.